Good evening, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ioana and I am an interpreter and uh, today I'm starting to develop a video series called Terminology or Medical Terminology. What kind of terminology a medical interpreter needs to know in order to feel more comfortable at their workplace? How to learn a medical terminology? That will be a class number one about terminology okay so there are so many terms in a medical field that is a little bit challenging it's quite challenging to remember them all and I'm gonna share a few hacks that did help me to remember them in five languages so if that worked for me I guarantee you guys you're gonna have a good result okay so uh, some books give a different hacks. I'm gonna read some of them, but I will tell you which one work for me. Rule number one, use your senses. Uh, they say audio or visual senses. See it, how it's written. See it, what it means. See it, where it's located. Um, I use one technique that combine both of it plus one other technique which uh, help me a lot. Let's say a visual technique, we remember a lot of things seeing them, not only seeing the term, let's say kidneys, not only seeing uh, how kidney is spelled, but also seeing where it's located in the body. Mm, a lot of uh, a lot of the medical terms are related to the body systems uh, and out of hearing how this term is uh, pronounced and see how the word is typed, we have to relate to a meaning. So how I learned that with kinesthetic senses, with motion, what I did I wrote a term, I paint a body systems, honestly, I have a full book of that, me painting the different body systems and color them in different colors indicating where it's what. I am, I am writing down in one language and I'm writing the same thing in the second language or target language in, in my painting, in my drawing and I'm coloring it a specific color. This whole thing helped me a lot to remember body systems where the parts are located and one another thing after let's say I do a cardiology painting and I paint the heart and the valves and and the heart there are three areas in the heart and all these kind of things I also write what is it about let's say vena cava what is doing is it taking out the uh, blood of the heart is taking in what is the function in the body so when I have the painting and I have the term and I also know what is it about this thing helped me further on sometimes when I interpret especially in the end of the day and I'm a little bit tired and I don't remember uh, some term and I have to interpret versus English I could say interpreter I'm apologizing interpreter speaking I'm apologizing sir madam uh, the patient used the word that I don't know the term but mean the organ that elaborate liquids which is the kidneys so the doctor immediately relate to that uh, even if I'm missing the term I know what we're talking about the doctor immediately understand and this helps me in a highly stressful situation Okay, so uh, that worked wonderful for me, writing and pronouncing the word kidneys in English, reni in Italian, pochki in uh, Russian, bobrti in Bulgarian. So I write the word and I pronounce it in the main language, which is English for me, and then I pronounce it in the second language and write it down and what this organ or this term mean. 
Another thing they say cate categorize it. I don't think this worked quite well with me, but you can give it a try. Uh, but try to make sense. As I said, link it to a knowledge. I link it logically to what this term means or what it's used for. Um, but mainly explain it in your own words. What, what is uretra? What uretra does? It's a uh, carry liquid, you know. Try to explain it in a simple way to your own self that you understand it. This is how you're gonna remember it. Okay, in order to understand, and this is something that helped me a lot in medical interpreter tests because the terms there are a lot and you have a very short time to remember those and short time to respond and the test is like the time is clicking you don't have time to really think about it the word structure all the words in medical field come from latin latin language and they are, they have a root they have prefix and suffix the root is the base of the word that have a main meaning that if you remember the root it's very easy to connect or, or remember what eventually will be related to. The prefix is something in the beginning that normally is adding something, taking something or, or submitting something. And suffix is something that is in the end of the word that also could be um, removed. But in order to remember the words, I personally try to remember the K words. Let's say nose, trachea, lungs, bronx, alveoli, oxygen, and the blood. The whole process, imagine how you breathe, how you inhale and go to the nose, to the trachea. Go down to your lungs. And then from there to the bronchial trees, alveoli is the smaller parts there that elaborate the oxygen and transfer it into the blood. So just imagining the whole process is really, really helpful. So I will give you a few small exercises and from the next video, guys, I'm going to develop a terminology video that it's basic for the interpreter that you will use in a daily basis and if you learn these words your work will be easy as pie okay uh, i develop a small vocabulary uh, that that i will give you as an example how i try to remember this is related to cardiologists i will give you example cardi it means hurts logi it means study uh, so where is logi? It's always the sense of something and the base, it's, it's the word. Uh, so, carcin, this is can uh, cancerous, something related with cancer, carcinoma. Uh, cardi, something related to heart, cardiology. Cephalos, something related to the head, cephalic. Radiology, the base word is logy again, the study of something, cardiology, right? Oma, it's something related to tumor. Let's say carcinoma, sarcoma, this all omas, it's... Uh, related to cancer graphy it's graphic we all know this is the base word could be cardiography radiography could be many graphics this is process of recording and studying something uh, emia it's related to the blood leucemia anemia that was just few bases of words that I personally put together because it helps me to remember them more easily. Uh, I repeat again, from the next class, we're going to start to study a body systems and terminology we need to know 
about the body system that the interpreter need to know in order to work fluently. That was everything from Mirror Interpretation to Barova, Joanna. Thank you for your subscription, comments, language suggestions, spelling suggestions. Uh, thank you for being here. I hope that video was useful to you guys. I hope you enjoy it. Please, please press like, subscribe, uh, put a thumb up and write a comment and share with your friends. Thank you for being here. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.